Welcome back, everybody, to the Homa Team Builder Dynasty here on College Football 25. We enter on a five-game losing streak after winning our first two games by six total points. We have lost five in a row, the last three of which we have barely scored a touchdown. I think we have, I think, two touchdowns in our last three games combined. We've allowed over 90 points in the last two games combined. Our quarterback has not been great. He's thrown five touchdowns, six interceptions, and less than 1,600 passing yards. A pretty bad rating besides that one game against Iowa State. He's been pretty bad in every other game outside of that one. And we just have a lot of things to fix. He has shown his poor accuracy. He has sailed a couple of passes. He's been taking too many sacks. He's been poor throwing under pressure. And frankly, put, it's just been kind of his fault offensively, I think. The offensive line has not been great either. But on the ground, we have a pretty good running back core behind Strickland and uh, Keontae Tyson. Over 600 yards right now for Strickland, 5.6 per carry, three touchdowns and over 85 yards per game. But we just have not been able to run the ball that much because we're losing these games so easily. Our defense has been solid, but these last two games, obviously, with the offense being off the field or on the field for less than like a full quarter of action, the defense has to be out there for a lot longer and it's cost us so far. We've allowed so many points because they've been gassed out there by the third quarter. Our first game this episode comes against the Detroit Trojans, who come in with a 3-4 and four record and only 1-2 and two so far in Sunbelt Conference play. But like pretty much every other team that we have faced this year, their roster is way better than ours. They have several guys in the 80s, a couple guys over 79 as well, and our top guy is a senior linebacker, Chase Friedman, who is less than 80 overall. So. All these games are going to be tough for us, but they are coming off a pretty big win against South Alabama, who held us to zero points. They put up 42. So that kind of shows you the litmus test difference between these two offenses. It is a pretty big gap. So here we go on this one. It comes back at home at Cypress Grove Stadium. Troy starts with the ball. And on the first play, it's Taj Coles coming in for a sack on the first play from scrimmage. Exactly how you want to start this game here at home. Second and long, and the pistol they hand it off. It's Damian Taylor on the ground. Breaking one tackle, but not gaining a whole lot. And it's gonna be third and 14. The pass is dumped off. This is Gerald Green, the senior tailback, and he breaks a tackle. And Coles could not bring him down before a first down. Another little check down here on the outside. It's Taylor back in. He breaks a tackle, but is shoved down by then Claiborne after a four-yard pickup. Back to throw. Crowder's pass is caught at the sideline. Nice throw and catch right there. That was caught by Chris Lewis, I believe. And now Crowder keeps it. On the read option, he's got an eight-yard gain. Two yards to go. Play action, looking deep down the field and broke it out for Lewis. Big third down right here for our defense, trying to get off the field early on, but they can't. And Taylor finds some room to convert on third down. More play action. Crowder's got all day to throw. Even it for the end zone, and the pass is cut off and stolen away by Nako Solomon. He's got the interception, and the defense will not allow any points on the opening drive. Crowder got too greedy, and the home of defense takes care of the rest. Out comes the offense, though, for the Bobcats, trying to get off to a better start than our Last three games. Here's Strickland on the ground. Up the middle, he fights for a first down as Luis Medina will have to check out with an injury timeout. Another kid just trying to establish the ground and so far it's working. Nine yards on that run for Spencer Strickland. Right back to him again, just enough to convert. Up to the home of 42-yard line. Now the first throw, and Olsen just can't get rid of it in time. 
Extra men come on the rush. And it's a big loss. Third and 14. Gonna have to throw it here and more men come in. It's back to back sacks for Troy. And the drive goes nowhere. Three to play here in the first quarter. Crowder has it. He keeps it and runs for a first down. A gain of 14 yards on that run. First and 10. They fake the handoff to Taylor. And down the field, it is caught out of bounds by Zariah Benson. Already a second grab here in this one. It's first and goal for the Trojans. Crowder keeps it. And he dives into the end zone for a game-leading touchdown. They get on the board first. A couple of drives later, Homa still scoreless. 7.33 to go, and here is Taylor once again, bounced outside for a six-yard pickup. And they're already in Homa territory once again. They fake it again on the read option. This is Crowder keeping it for another first down run. Gain of 11 on that run. A pump fake from Crowder. He's got all day to throw. And he's got a man open at the five yard line, but he can't hang on. Jarred loose by Terrell Pace. That brings a third and long to the Trojans. He'll fake it to Green. Crowder looking for the end zone again, but it's batted away by Nako Solomon, who had the earlier pick. The defense holds them to a 47-yard field goal, and it is up and good through the uprights, the 10-point Troy lead. Under five to play here in the first half. Homa still is trying to put some drive together, but... The pocket continues to collapse. Troy keeps bringing extra men on the rush. And the offensive line just cannot make do. The six-yard loss to bring a third and 11. And once again, it's back-to-back -back sacks for the Trojans. That one comes from Julian Peterson. Out of the warning, Troy is driving inside the home of 30. Crowder's pass is batted away on a diving attempt. By Terrell Pace, already three first half deflections for him. They'll keep it through the air, and that one comes off the helmet of an offensive lineman, and it goes incomplete. A big third down once again for this Bobcat defense. Use Crowder scanning, and eventually just has to throw it away after nobody gets open down the fields. Another 47-yard try, up and good. It is 13-0 Trojans. Once again, a very slow start for the home offense, and the defense just has to do their best to keep us in this game. Back to throw. Olsen's pass is hauled in by Scooter Page for a first down. From the 40, tight window throw. It's caught by Javi and Foreman for another first down. Homo trying to get down the field and put points on the board prior to halftime. This one is caught in stride by Foreman once again. Back to back first downs for the third string wide receiver. And now Olsen takes off. He dives. I think he meant to slide there instead but he still picks up nine on the rush. One yard to go on third down. It's Strickland trying to get outside, but there's nothing out there. And Troy calls timeout with fourth and two coming up. Home offense staying out there on a short yardage gain, and Strickland will convert. Thirty-five seconds left to play here in the half. Olsen is taken down, the ball comes loose, and Lee scoops it up, and he's got nobody in front of him. Just screen grass ahead to the house, a scoop and score for the Trojans. And just when you thought Homa had something brewing on the offensive end, they turn the ball over, and the Trojans defense puts it in the end zone on the other end. Here's a replay, and... Things just do not look good for this home offense. It is 20 to nothing. 
Six first half sacks for Troy. They have brought a lot of pressure and the offensive line has had trouble picking up more than five defenders. So it's not a good day for the offensive line or for our quarterback. We're trying to establish the ground once again here, but only one yard on the first play of the third quarter. Second and nine, hand off to Strickland. Once again, nothing opens up. It's third and long. Got to get to the 35-yard line for a first down, and the pass is into traffic and out of reach for Demetrius Williamson. Troy takes over at the 48-yard line. And the pistol, they'll give it to Taylor. On the outside, he picks up eight. Right back to him up the middle. Taylor up inside the home of 35-yard line. And the Trojans are once again driving down the field. It will stay in the pistol. Green checks in for the handoff. He turns the corner and jets up the sideline for another big run. And that one goes for 19 yards. Back to throw. Crowder checks it down, but Green was out of bounds initially. That will be illegal touching and a seven yard loss. But big injury news. Bubba Van Cleborn at Taurus tricep on the play and he will miss the rest of the season. He is done. So in comes Marquez Cardi as his backup the rest of the season. Third and 12 for Troy, looking for the end zone. It's caught at the back, it's Devontae Ross. Solomon just can't keep up in coverage and the Trojans lead 27 to zero. We just could not get anything going on offense and the defense is worse off because of it. Four to play here in this third quarter. Third and nine throw, and it's picked off. A horrible attempt there by Tyler Olsen, and he whiffs on the tackle attempt. It's a pick six for Trent Henry. And this team is going like all the rest. The offense can't put any good drives together. Too many turnovers, too many mistakes. And now in comes David DePaul for the rest of the game. He benched Tyler Olsen because we're down by 34. And we start to move the ball a little bit once he checks in the game. There's Javi and Fulmer to get up to 50 yards on the day for him. Pretty solid performance, I would say. And now Keontae Tyson runs for a first down. Just across midfield, a jet touch pass to Williamson. He finds a crease on the outside, and he jets up the sideline inside the Troy 15. The best looking homer drive so far of this game comes with the Paul at quarterback and Tyson's got some room tackled out of bounds inside the one yard line. On first and goal it's Strickland with the carry up the middle he scores and puts Homa on the board for the first time here in this one. So what does that say about our quarterback play is DePaul better than Olsen? Maybe so based on this game. A couple of drives later, six and a half to play. Strickland finds some room and breaks a tackle. And now he jets past the entire Trojans defense. He is gone for another Bobcat touchdown. He has shown some big breakaway speed, some good acceleration all year long. And if we can just get in front early on in some of these games, if we can establish the run, that we can win some of these games with him as the main go-to guy. A drive later, we're driving once again inside the 10-yard line. It's first and goal from the six. Out of the warning, DePaul with a toss crack out to Tyson, he finds the end zone. The third Homa touchdown of the second half, all three of which come with DePaul as the quarterback. A pretty big difference from when Olsen was in the game for the first two and a half quarters. But Troy comes out on top by the end of things, 44 to 20. 
I mean, we were down 34 nothing. We had no chance to win after that pick six. Damian Taylor runs all over this defense. 132 on 19 rushing attempts, plus the touchdown to boots. And it was a poor day all around, but at least we saw some good things once David DePaul checked in. In the end, Goose Crowder only completes 9 passes here in this game on 20 attempts, less than 50% completion percentage. Not too many passing yards allowed by this defense, but on the ground, we gave up just way too many yards. Both running backs averaged more than 6.5 per carry. It broke several tackles, and we allowed 8 sacks in this game, 6 of which came in the first half. But DePaul had more completions on less attempts and way more yards than Tyler Olsen had. I mean, he was just way better, I think. Higher average, more yards, higher completion percentage. Just a pretty good performance by the backup. And Strickland, I thought, ran the ball very well when he got his chances. But after the first play from scrimmage, after that Tosh Cole sack, we had no more pressure on Goose Crowder at all in this game, which is just a huge question mark for this defense going forward. So another tough loss to take. That makes it six in a row for the Bobcats. We end up missing out on JD Comp, who will lock us out of his top eight. But I do find a run-stopping linebacker here, Shakir Pound, a pretty solid player. He's a three-star prospect, and we will try and focus on him a lot here because this run defense needs some work, and I think we got to just get better linebackers, get better defensive linemen here on this team. And we do end up getting the Chase Freeman replacement for next year, Chuck Madden. He commits to us out of Arkansas, a three-star middle linebacker. Once again, we get a three-star prospect. Excited for that because that should up out this defense for the foreseeable future. And we do reach the top five schools for left outside linebacker Esteban Rizzo, another run-stopping linebacker. Is trying to make this defense better for the future. Get some young freshmen in here that are already going to be better than most of our starters on defense. And we end up as the number one school for him once we crack his top eight. Now, we do find a couple of offensive linemen here, starting with Levante Caraway. He's more of a power uh, blocker, but he does have some pretty good overall skills to start out. Now, he is a bust, which just means that he is probably a lower depth trait than most other players will, but we'll try and focus on him as well. And that leaves us with five total commits so far, four three stars and one one star prospect at this point, but still a plenty of weeks left to go and I expect us to get some more three stars as well and a couple of two and one stars to round out this incoming recruiting class. Our next game though comes against another really good team, Louisiana Raging Cajuns. They're five and three, two and two here in the Sun Belt and their roster is even better than Troy's is. So here we go. This one comes on the road at Our Lady of Lords Stadium and it's going to be a tough game I think. Here we go. Almost starts with the ball from their 25-yard line. Can we end the losing streak here today? A good first play, a 17-yard run for Strickland to open it. That's how you want to start this game right here. From the 42, right back to him as he hurdles over a defender right into a tackle in the midair. Only a one-yard pickup. And we'll keep it with him on the ground. He will pick up six here on second to set up third and three. And comes Keontae Tyson. Toss crack out to him on the outside. That's going to be another first down for Homa. This might already be their best opening drive since the first two games of the entire season. Here's Foreman on the mid-screen. He picks up nine. Third and short, Strickland back in. He is tackled short of the first down. It's a loss of one. Antoine Bayless on that tackle. We settle for a field goal, but it's absolutely shanked 51 yards out. 
And after a pretty solid opening couple of plays, the drive goes nowhere. Wells just cannot get his foot on the ball cleanly. And Louisiana takes over at the 34-yard line. Here's the first carry for Elijah Davis with plenty of room to run. And they're already up to the home of 37. Right back to him on first and 10. Another broken tackle, and he picks up eight more yards. Run defense picking up right where things left off in our last game. Not off to a good start here defensively. This pass by Fields is caught for a first down. That is Robert Williams, the junior wideouts. From the 12, here's Davis inside the five. As our backup safety, Alexander Valentine, will check out with the injury, grabbing his left forearm. And three yards out, Fields finds his tight end in the end zone for a touchdown. And Louisiana takes an early lead here in this one. Under three to go here in the first quarter. Oma takes over from their 34 starting through the year on the screen. It's Strickland with the first down. Olsen hands it off, and there's more room to run for Strickland. One broken tackle, two broken tackles, and another big run. He's already off to a pretty good start here in this one. Up to the Raging Cages 26-yard line. Direct snap. Here's Tyson with a four-yard pickup. Setting up a screen. Here's Foreman turning up the field. He's got a first down. As Homa has another good drive brewing here. From the 12, Strickland cuts it back in. and picks up five more yards. Delayed give. The draw play, though, will lose a yard. Nice tackle there by Mason Narcisse. That's third and six. Setting up a screen. Strickland cuts it back the other way and fights his way in. He reaches Paydirt. And Homa finally is looking competitive here in this one. We get on the board in the first half. And he will tie this game up at seven points apiece. A great run here off the screen from Spencer Strickland. Louisiana takes over from their 36. And off to Davis, wrapped up by Freeman. They go right back to him on the outside, but he's brought down for a loss this time. It's Taj Coles with the tackle. So it's third and long, the Raging Cajuns. Fields back to pass, he's got time to throw, but it's broken up, intended for Elijah Davis. Freeman with that deflection. It's first and 10, Homa. Under eight to go here in the first half, but Strickland does not get a good block on the slip screen. Now we'll toss it out to him. He's got room to run. Trying to turn the corner. Enough for a first down. Another handoff to Strickland. He rolls ahead for four to bring up second down and six. Up to the 35-yard line. Tyson checks in for the handoff, but gets kind of blocked off by his own lineman. Third and five for the Bobcats offense. Olsen's pass caught on the slants by Williamson. The drive is kept alive. Offense looks a whole lot better here in this game than our previous one. This one is caught. Williamson makes a man miss and fights for a nine-yard gain. From the 48, Strickland gets just enough to convert the first down. Already 73 yards here on the ground in the first half. Olsen's pass is caught on the outside. It's Foreman 
for a big first down inside the Louisiana 25. Approaching the red zone. Here's Strickland, somehow escaping a tackle and picking up eight more yards. Tyson back in. We fake it to him and go out to Williamson on the RPO screen. That gives us first and goal from the nine yard line. And off to Strickland. He cuts it back the other way and picks up six more. Three yards away now, but wrapped up for a one yard loss. It's once again Mason Arcise on the TFL. That brings up third and goal. A crack toss out to Strickland trying to turn the corner, but he's picked up by a defender and dropped for a loss of one. Fourth and goal. Wells wide to the right on a chip shot field goal. Just no words can describe my disappointment here on these last two field goal attempts. It should be 13-7, Homa. Instead, it is a tie ball game still with one minute to go in this first half. This pass is caught. Eight-yard gain for Lance Lengendre. Next play, it's caught. This is Davis breaking a couple of tackles. He's brought down after a big pickup across the 40-yard line up to their 44. Outside pass, caught, and it's a first down again. Defense is not making tackles right now. Now last play for Louisiana. Fields completes it up the seam. It's Davis inside the red zone. Up to 100 passing yards here in the first half is Chandler Fields. And instead of a home lead, it is Louisiana who comes out on top here in the first half. They lead 10 to 7 at the halftime break. Just a very disappointing start for Homa after a couple of nicely put together drives and over 15 minutes of possession, and we somehow are losing this ball game. Just a really poor first half, not making tackles on defense, and obviously our kicker has missed a couple of key kicks here in this first half. And we should be a front, but we're not. So, got to do better here in the second half because we have a chance to win this game for once. We're not losing by multiple scores for the first time in quite a while. They will take over at their 25 to open this third quarter. And through the air, it is caught across the 45. A 21-yard gain on the first play from scrimmage. Pre-snap motion. This is the tight end, but he's dropped for a loss by Taj Coles. And the pistol on second down and long. Here's Davis on the carry. One broken tackle, two broken tackles, and nobody brings him down. He's gone for a 55-yard touchdown. All of a sudden, this defense just can't bring this freshman running back down. I don't know what happened. There's poor tackling by several players. And just like that, Louisiana leads by 10 points. Couple of drives later, Homo trying to drive down the field, but McClawler just wasn't paying attention on that pass. He was open. Olsen dumps it off for Strickland. He gains six to bring up third down and four. He's been solid here in this game. Only four incompletions to 11 completions as Foreman makes a diving grab to keep the drive going. Once again, he has been probably our best receiver in back-to-back -back games. Here's Strickland on the ground. He picks up five. Big third down right here. Olsen's pass caught underneath. Foreman over the middle for a first down. Just a couple yards shy of midfield. Strickland trying to turn his legs ahead. He picks up five more. One yard shy now of 100. On 20 carries already to this point. The pass is caught once again. That's CJ Peaks finally getting a touch here. And he runs for a first down. Empty look on first. 
Olsen, feeling pressure off the edge, completes it for Foreman, and he picks up nine and a half. Tyson checks in in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. He's got room to run. He cuts it back the other way and is inside the 15. Under a minute to go here in this third quarter. Setting up a screen, but a defender is blocked right into Strickland's path and he has nowhere to go. We gain nothing. Now wear and tear is showing on Strickland now on third and 10. Olsen takes off. He does have some speed and he does not fumble this time. First and go inside the one for the Bobcats offense. First play of the fourth quarter. Right on the goal line and that's Chris T being wrapped up for a loss of one by Kyron Mims. Next play, Strickland back in the game for another touchdown. Homa once again on the board here. Their first score since the first half and we're right back in this ball game. A three point lead for Louisiana. They start from their 18 yard line. First and 10 handoff, here's Davis. Bowie just completely runs by him and just misses his tackle without, without even touching the guy. Like what is going on here with our defense? Missing tackle after tackle, I don't know how to explain it. This one is outside and punts for a first and on the screen. Back to throw again. Fields looking down the field, it is incomplete. Legendre almost had that one, but just couldn't corral it to the ground. Over the middle, though, it's caught for a first down inside the home of 40-yard line by Jacob Bernard. Defense has got to get a stop here in this drive to give us a chance. Fields takes off and slides after a four-yard game. And off up the middle, this is Kendra Williams picking up a first down. From the 20, Fields dumps it off underneath. That one's caught to set up second and four. Only three incompletions thrown by Fields to this point with seven minutes left to go. Williams will convert. And it's first and goal for Louisiana. A play later, they're inside the one. Handoff and up the middle. It is a touchdown for the Raging Cajuns once again. They will boost their lead back to 10 on the ground. Under six to play, Homa has to score on this drive and quickly, but Olsen sails his first pass intended for Demetrius Williamson. Keeping it through the air and this one is caught. McClawler breaks a tackle and picks up 15 yards. Next play, tight window throw. It's Williamson across the middle for another home of first down. We're finally driving on back-to-back -back possessions. Olsen's pass hits four minutes stride over the middle for a first down. And that gets Olsen over 200 passing yards here in this game. First and 10, McClawler just couldn't keep his eye on the ball. It goes incomplete. Empty look on second down. Page can't hang on to it. Now it's third and long. Olsen's got time to throw, but he checks it down instead to Williamson. He's pushed out of bounds after a four-yard gain, and out comes Ian Wells for his third field goal attempt, and this time he finally puts it through the uprights. And home is back on the board and back within one score. Not really a touchdown drive or anything, but we're at least still in this game, asking our defense to get one more stop here to give the offense a chance to potentially force overtime or win the game with a two-point conversion. They start on the ground. It's a loss of one for Elijah Davis, Quincy Blue with that tackle for loss. 
Trying to milk some clock here. Davis cuts it back inside and breaks a tackle. And our defense just cannot bring this guy down for whatever reason. First and 10 throw. This one is caught by Bernard. He picks up nine. Out of the warning. And off to Davis outside and he converts the first down. One first down could end this game for Louisiana. They give it to Davis. He's wrapped up and now he is shaken up on the play, grabbing his right forearm. He will have to exit. So in comes Kendra Williams. At the 44, he gets the handoff and fights for a first down. The game is nearly over. Homa has two timeouts left. Williams gets the carry. He's got one man to beat and Solomon just completely sells on the tackle attempts. And Williams puts the game on ice. Louisiana takes this one. 31 to 17. We had our chances, but missed a couple of kicks, missed several tackles, and that is why we lost this game. Another brutal loss, and once again, the run defense has been absolutely horrible. Davis goes for 138 on 13 carries, and Williams also had a pretty big day on the ground, too. Seven straight losses for Homa. Fields goes 17 for 20 through the air. Very good passing day. Very efficient through the air. One touchdown, no picks, no turnovers. They had six broken tackles in this game by Davis. Williams, 12.8 per carry. Davis, 10.6 per carry. I mean, what more can you do when you give up that many yards on every single give to their running back? I, th I thought Olsen played pretty well here in this game. 241. Uh, 24 for 35 passing definitely is second best game of the year behind that Iowa State performance but it just was not enough to win this game the ground game for us continues to be a pretty big part of the offense but again you cannot run the ball if you were losing for the entirety of the game and through the air we had a couple of nice grabs by Foreman Strickland and Williamson but we had four drops in this game that is way too many I'm going for like one or two or zero you know preferably, but the defense could not get home. No sacks, no turnovers forced, and uh, just several missed tackles. We do get a two-star commitment here from Fanausa Odo, that defensive tackle out of Arkansas. So that's going to be our sixth verbal commitment here of the season. So looking for probably about 10 or 15 more uh, by year's end. But we do get Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Week. It is this the second time that he has won it for Spencer Strickland. But at some point, the losing has to end, right? We won our first two games, but these last five weeks especially have been really, really bad losses. We could have beat Iowa State. We could have beat uh, Louisiana. And our next chance will come against the Georgia State Panthers, who are 2-7, and seven, just like we are. But they have won a Sunbelt Conference game. We have not, so that's going to be our best chance to get back in the, in the win column, guys. That'll do it here for me. Please like the video, subscribe if you're new, and leave your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.